In this video, we're gonna learn how to set up OBS Studio for live streaming and recording. We're gonna download, install, set it up, explain scenes, explain sources, explain audio setup, and even put up some overlays. Grab your pen and notepad because it's gonna go fast right after this message from our sponsor. Now, if you've been following this channel for a little bit, you know that own.gg slash get level is where you go to get everything customizable for a live streamer or even a YouTuber. But what if I told you that the real streamers use own.gg slash get level pro? Own just announced Own Pro, which is an OBS Studio plugin that gives you access to everything you need straight into OBS. Once you install it, it will give you access to a library of overlays and alerts that you can just scroll through, pick one you like, and then test it. Click on it, one click install, easy clap. Now let's say you want to add something like stream labels, aka latest subscriber, latest follower. Own makes it easy to do that from your source list. You would like to display your chat box into your overlay? No problem. They are actually already working on things like a dedicated Twitch chat bot and a possible copyright free music solution that avoids you from getting those nasty DMCAs. Now let's talk about fees. Oof, you almost got scared there. You thought there wasn't gonna be a free plan. Well, there is, and the free plan is it's not a trial, it's free forever. So if you want to test the free pro, that's fine. But if you want to go pro pro, you can also do that. I'll let you check out the difference between the two plans. But in the meantime, go to own.gg slash get level pro and step up your OBS studio game. Now, you're currently watching the fast tutorial version of installing OBS and setting it up for live streaming or recording. If you want an in-depth tutorial that takes things slowly, click uh, top right on your screen right now. So you wanna go to obsproject.com, click on the OS that you're using, and then that will download the latest version of OBS Studio. You want to install it, basically click yes, 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 install, and then it will show up in your start menu. Right here, what you want to do is right click it, okay? And then click more and run as administrator. It's not absolutely necessary, but it will prevent a bunch of bugs. Now, this is the main layout of OBS Studio. If you get a prompt asking you to run an auto configuration wizard, click yes and actually do it. I recommend you go to tool and actually run the auto configuration wizard. In our case, optimize for streaming, recording is secondary, click next. Base canvas is the size of your screen, so use current. In it FPS 60 or 30, prefer 60 when possible. Click next. Service, you're gonna pick Twitch and then click connect account. This brings you here, you just have to log in. They will authenticate, cool, prefer hardware encoding, estimate bitrate, all of that checked, click next. And now it will run the auto configuration wizard. It will determine what's the best quality uh, given your internet connection and your hardware. Okay, it's done. Note that this is the optimal settings for you to stream on. You can adjust them later, but basically this is what your computer and your internet connection is capable of. And click apply settings. Now, since you logged in with your Twitch account, it will display information from your Twitch account. To the right here, we have your Twitch chat, which is important to look at. So you will, you can just drag it and embed it right now in your OBS. So every time you want to look at chat, you don't have to go to the Twitch uh, website. Uh, same thing for stream information, except we don't necessarily need stream, stream information when we're streaming. We can close that and actually go to view docs and display Twitch activity feed. Now, this is important because if you have an alert that popped off and you didn't see what it was, it will show you what happened recently, like Haiki followed me two hours ago. So your settings are done, your chat is here, and your account is connected. Let's start by setting up the most important thing, which is audio. Let's go to settings and then go to audio. And then desktop audio is basically every sound coming from your computer. If you're wearing a headset, you're going to pick up your headphones. Uh, if you are on speakers, don't stream on speakers, uh, you're going to pick up speakers or you can leave it to default and it will pick what Windows is currently using. Then mic auxiliary audio, you want to pick up your microphone, your specific microphone. I have a bunch of inputs. You're going to pick the microphone that you want to use to stream. You can set it as default, but I advise you actually picking your actual microphone because sometimes it defaults to your webcam. For example, your webcam is microphone. Click apply, click OK, and when you speak into your microphone, you should see this moving. And if you're playing sounds on your desktop, for example, a game or just music, it will show on desktop. Always make sure that your desktop audio is lower than your microphone, otherwise it will literally be louder than you. Okay, scenes. Scenes is pretty much segments. Every time you're doing something different, it's going to be a different scene. If the stream is starting, you want to show a countdown, you want to show some graphics before you start the stream, that will be your starting scene. And then within that scene, you can incorporate different graphics element, which will be displayed. At the bottom here, you will see a little plus, that's for you to add a new scene. And at the bottom of the source list, you can add a new source. So if I wanted to add an image, for example, on this scene, I could click plus, and I advise you look at all of those sources, but for now, we're going to add an image because we're going to be adding a static overlay. Static overlay meaning 
it doesn't move. So it's an image. If you don't have any graphics for your stream yet, you can go to gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of free ones and a bunch of affordable ones. For example, my latest one called player is completely free. So you can get your stream looking super good. And I'm going to go here and pick starting soon. Boom. And I just added this image. Of course, you can click on it. You can resize it. You can do whatever you want with it, but we're going to keep it full screen right now. And under the scene thing, I'm going to click plus to add a new scene. We can rename that later and let's add another image or better yet. Let's just add a webcam just to show you a webcam will be a video capture device. Let's click OK and then let's find a camera. Uh, I have a C920 here. OK, cool. Uh, if there's any issue with your camera, you can go here and go to custom and pick the resolution. In this case, this camera does 1080p pretty well. 1080p. Boom. You have a webcam. Let's add another scene. Click OK. And if we want to capture a game, if you have a game open, you can click game capture to add that game capture. And then you can go to capture specific window. And if there's a game here, you can just pick the game. We don't have any games open right now, so nothing's going to appear. And if you want to add your webcam on top of it, you can just click on plus again, go to video capture device. And in this case, you can click add as existing because you already added a camera. Boom, you added this. And in this case, you will just make it lower like that. Boom. And your gameplay will be behind it. Now, one thing to know is that the list right there, the order of appearance is the order uh, of the list. So game capture is behind my camera. So literally on the screen, my game will be behind my camera. If you add the game capture on top of it like this, well, right now there's no example. Uh, it will be on top of your camera, meaning your camera will not be visible. All right. Uh, the rest is very similar to the starting soon for be right back or stream ending. Uh, let's add an intermission screen here. For example, I'm going to go find an image. It's going to be image two. I'm not going to name them. You should name them so you don't get lost. Boom. I'm going to add that. And since I added it on top of it, uh, that works. OK. And I can technically right now, if I wanted to stream, I could just click start streaming. And then when you're live, you can just switch between the scenes by clicking on them. You can also set up shortcuts to do it automatically. Basically, when you press the shortcuts by going to settings and clicking hotkeys and figuring it out. Basically, <laughs> now, if you want to record, you can go to settings, go to output. You will see your streaming and recording setup under recording. You can set where you want it to actually record your files. You can pick the file format. You can pick the quality if you want to. Uh, same as stream is an option if you're streaming high quality. But if not, you can pick high quality and distinguishable quality and all of that. And basically, if you want to start recording, you can click start recording right here. It will record and the file will be in that folder that you chose. Little bonus thing that you can do is click scene transition and actually pick one of the default ones. You can add a slide, for example click slide and preview transition. This is what the slide looks like. So from now on, if you have this selected, it will slide. As you can see, you can pick the duration and all of that. But this is how you add a basic transition. Custom transitions are called stingers, uh, but this is something for another tutorial. I have tutorials on that and I also have free stinger transition that you can add. Uh, watch my other videos, basically. And there you have it, how to set up OBS for streaming and recording as fast as possible. If you want to learn how to add some extra stuff, such as stream labels, like displaying the most recent follower, cheerer, donator, and stuff like that, watch my in-depth video on the subject. If you want to show the chat on, on screen and learn about services that provide you those alerts, uh, donations, and stuff like that, such as Streamlabs OBS, the stream elements, etc. But with what I've shown today, you're actually ready to start recording your gameplay or live stream your gameplay or at least testing it in order to do further adjustments if needed. Again, if you want to get very affordable or free overlay packs, you can go to gumroad.com slash get level. Those overlays are all made by me and made available for you guys. Check the links in the description. Get yourself a streamer brain mug. And in top right, YouTube will show you what they think is the best video you should watch next. At the bottom of it, you will find my latest video. So go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.